If you're new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and also hit the bell as well for new videos every day, every week. Alrighty, everybody! What's going on, guys? This is your boy Nintendo Logan back in again here with yet another Nintendo news update for you guys and girls on this lovely Friday morning. And what's on the money that's coming into the chat? Let's go ahead and let's get, get into the shout outs before we get started with the stream as well. And so, guys. What's up everybody that's coming into the stream? Super Shout to Hedgehog, Lisa Sims, Ryan206, David Dyer, Team Steven the Hedgehog Channel, Peppy E, Jacob, Verla Houston, Ben Gaming, Lucas Main, and also we have, let's see here, let's see what else we have here. Oh, no, what's on the, I think that's everybody right there. And also, what's up to Team Steam and the Hedgehog channel as well? I know it's, I'm not sure if I already said what's up to you there. But what's on everybody that's coming into the stream? Hope you guys are having a, a really good, lovely uh, Friday morning. And yeah, guys, so of course, we're about once again for you another one of our 11 a.m. live Nintendo news updates live for you guys today. Like I said, on this lovely Friday morning. And yeah, guys. We have a dope Nintendo news topic that we're of course going to be talking about during this stream. And yeah guys, before we get started with the stream, if you guys are now just tuning in as well, make sure you all definitely give the stream a thumbs up. And let's try to get to the like goal of 10 likes on the stream. So once again, if you are now just tuning in, make sure you all definitely hit that like button. And let's try to get to the like goal once again to 10 likes on the stream. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you all click that subscribe button right now live. And your name will appear live on the stream. And you'll be get a live shout out live on the stream here as always. And if you want to get started, I'm going to of course get a good old drink of water to get ready for my commentary. Duh. <laughs> and also, I do want to, real quick, I do want to give huge shout outs. Uh, of course, everybody that tuned into last night's stream, or did Morning Maker 2, and also Animal Crossing as well. Bro, that was actually a very awesome stream last night when we did Morning Maker and Animal Crossing last night. So, huge shout outs to everyone that tuned into that stream. I got to play, um, and I uh, got to showcase some of your Morning Maker 2 levels. And also, I got to play Animal Crossing with us yesterday. Uh, I mean, uh, hopefully, you guys really enjoyed that right there. All right! Let's get right into the news for the stream. And so, guys, you guys might have already saw the title of the stream. Basically, Phil Spencer, the one and only Phil Spencer. Of course, if you guys don't know who he is, basically, Phil Spencer is basically um pretty much the head of Microsoft and also of uh, Xbox as well. He was in a recent interview, and you guys are seeing the picture right here. He was apparently appearing on a talk show. Now it's kind of getting around Animal Crossing New Horizons, and it was apparently called Animal Talks, which apparently he was recently interviewed in uh, that new Animal Talks uh, show there. And basically, as you guys see him in the green shirt, that's basically uh, Phil Spencer there, actually, like in um, when his character in Animal Crossing. He was recently interviewed, and he has something to say about Nintendo's first party games. And when I first heard about this, I don't know if I'm really shocked about what he had to say about um, Nintendo's uh, first party titles here. Well, as you all know, Nintendo and Microsoft, they've been seriously buddy buddy lately. When you know, like, um, when a lot of games on the Switch, like Minecraft, and also getting, like, Xbox exclusive games, pretty much on the Nintendo Switch, with, like, Cuphead, Ori in the Blind Forest, and then also, like, getting Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Like I said, Nintendo and Microsoft have been seriously buddy buddy lately. Well, like I said before, Phil Spencer had something to say in this brand new interview about Nintendo's first party games. And so, this is coming from NintendoLife.com, and this is what Phil Spencer had to say about Nintendo's first party games. And it says this, and I quote, The pure thing about what Nintendo does is they think about games, and they think about their hardware and their platform as all in one thing. And build those experiences. I, and I know the teens are, are there pretty well. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, I wrote that right. And I know the teens are there, there are pretty well. And I think it's magical the way they're able to create a complete Nintendo experience on their devices. And this experience I'm looking at right here, in my hands, on my Switch, is Animal Crossing. From the Switch, running into the game itself. Uh, to the way that you go to the other people, people's islands. And the interview continues. 
In entertainment business, you know, most things don't turn out to be huge successes. So there always there always has to be some amount of a surprise. But Nintendo is just masterful at what they do. And I've said it before. I think they have the strongest first party pedigree out there in strength. And they're a jewel of, uh, for us in the games industry. And something we should protect. And so guys... This is basically what Phil Spencer had to say. It doesn't like uh, Nintendo's first party games. It really is like really awesome to hear what Phil Spencer had to say about this actually. Basically, and it looks like he has to say in this interview that he's a play he actually himself has played Animal Crossing on the Nintendo Switch actually. Well honestly, that was like, very shocking, honestly. Somebody from Xbox literally playing Animal Crossing and actually has a Nintendo Switch actually. Even though we would think that um he would have like an Xbox and all that. I mean, quite obviously, he has an Xbox, honestly. I mean, I cannot believe we're still talking about Xbox during a, a Nintendo stream here. But, um, but yeah, guys. So, pretty interesting what Phil Spencer had to say. It doesn't like Nintendo's first party lineup. It is so good to see that he's definitely supporting Nintendo. Not only in terms of like the first party lineup, but in terms of like the, the hardware and all that. And also with, um, with uh, what Nintendo's been doing and all that. I'm really glad to hear that Phil Spencer is praising Nintendo as well. And, um, and, uh, stuff like that. And yeah, guys, so that is what Phil Spencer had to say in terms of this brand new interview on the new Animal Talks, um, uh, talk show. And yeah, guys, so let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on what Phil Spencer had to say in terms of what Nintendo's first party games basically in this brand new interview? And again, guys, I love to hear you guys' thoughts about this in the comment section and in the YouTube channel down below. And yeah, guys, oh, excuse me, <laughs> But yeah, guys, so of course, uh, before we round out the stream, we're of course going to be taking a few comments in the YouTube chat. I'll uh, kind of give you guys overall thoughts about what Phil Spencer had to say in this new interview. And like I said, before we take the um, comments right here, like I said, guys, so good to see that somebody from Microsoft has been pretty much praising Nintendo. And listen, like I said, not a huge surprise that this has been happening. Because again, Nintendo and Microsoft, they've been buddy-buddy lately with a lot of like, um... Xbox exclusive games coming to Switch, and also with um, literally adding a Microsoft character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with Banjo and Kazooie. Like I said, Microsoft has been so supportive for Nintendo lately. Even though, like I said, a lot of these like other company video game companies, I know some of like some of them like to compete sometimes. You know, like Sony and like I said, Microsoft and Nintendo. I know some of them like to compete sometimes, but. The fact that they've been very really supportive, like I said on Nintendo, that was honestly very amazing. And I'm really happy to actually um, see this, honestly. Alright, but anyway, so, um, so like I said before, we're going to go and uh, take a few comments right here in the YouTube chat about what you guys, what you guys overall thoughts about what we just talked about here during the stream. Alright, let's see here. Let's go ahead and take a few comments right here. Let's see. Super Shadow Hedgehog says, Once I Sega has competition with Microsoft on Nintendo, yeah, pretty much so to this day, yeah. Well, I mean, Sega has played... Uh, I mean, Sega... They have actually played um, Nintendo, like, uh, their games on Nintendo platforms. So I'm not really sure they're still doing like competitions with each other. I mean, they might have cool with Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo... Uh, the Olympic Games and all that. Don't get me wrong there, honestly. Uh, let's see here. And let's see. Jacob says... Oh boy, nothing beats any of the delicious bowl of... Of uh, Ariel cere Oreo cereal with my wonderful family... Oh yeah, God, yeah, amen right there, brother. Really, really, um, really do agree with you right there. <laughs> I don't know if I say something else, but, um, I mean, you guys gotta, you guys gotta get what I mean there. Now let's see, Lucas Main says, coming soon, coming soon on Nintendo Xbox. Yeah, I think that's what the Nintendo NX might have been like. The Nintendo Xbox, actually. Because, I don't know if you guys remember, before the Nintendo actually fully revealed the Nintendo Switch, Basically, that was, a, that was the original code name for the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo NX. I know that some people might have, might have referred to that as like the Nintendo Xbox. <laughs> Bro, let's imagine if they did some, if they actually released something like that on Nintendo Xbox. That would be crazy, though. That would be crazy if we got a Nintendo Xbox. <clears throat> now, let's see. Bang Gaming says. Why does the Xbox Series X look like a basic rectangular prism? I don't know. Ask Microsoft. Yeah, then we ask Microsoft that. I mean, they're the ones that developed the uh, um, Series X. 
And the main gaming also says, Xbox is collabing with the, Nite with the Nintendo fridge. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the Xbox refrigerator and the, uh, the Nintendo toaster, actually, is what you, what you meant to say there. Right back. <laughs> now that will make a lot more sense there. Let's see. Super Shadow Hedgehog says, "I'm interested. In, I'm interested in this Logan. It's awesome. Oh yeah, this is definitely very awesome right here. Most definitely. Like I said, I totally, I totally do agree with you there, Super Shadow Hedgehog. Definitely, brah. And uh, Lucas Main says, "Steve for Smash. I mean, I don't know. It couldn't have. It couldn't have it probably. We'll have to see about that. If um, Minecraft Steve actually does get in the Smash." What are we really doing to them? We'll probably get some, like, some sort of Minecraft content in Smash, probably. Alright, I think we should be back live right now. Oh yeah, guys, I'm really sorry about that. My Wi-Fi, I don't know why my Wi-Fi is so stupid sometimes. See you guys, I do apologize about that cutout right there, of course, so, um, yeah, make sure my Wi-Fi was made a bit stupid right there, honestly. But it looks like we're still live right now, so, um, see, I'm gonna uh, read this one comment that I was trying to read here before, um, before, like before that um that uh, cutout happened there. So like I said, Rolla Houston in the YouTube chat says we need Steve on the roster for Minecraft. Oh yeah, like I said, my, like if we get like I said, we get any Minecraft content in Smash. That'll be honestly very amazing. Oh man, that'll be really awesome there. Let's see, Bang Gaming says Crush will be cool, even though he's a Sony character. Well, like I said before, I know Crash, like, I, I know I said this like a few streams ago, where we were talking about Crash Bandicoot 4 and the same thing as well. I know, like I said, like I said this before, um, I know we do, do, do refer, like, refer to Crash Bandicoot as like a Sony character, but ever since then, but like the instant trilogy and whatnot, we've never referred to Crash Bandicoot as like, so it's like, like a character from like Activision actually, since um, Activision now owns the rights to Crash Bandicoot. So, I mean, Crash Bandicoot will be so cool if you got in Smash. But, again, I'm not really going to guarantee that, like, 100% at all. Like I said, we'll have to see about that. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Jacob says, the Sega Switch. Ben Gaming, don't get any ideas about that. Do not get good, any ideas with the Sega Switch. <laughs> you don't know what my, my boy Ben Gaming will be doing if um, Nash do release a Sega Switch. Like I said, Ben Gaming... But Ben, if you're watching this, don't get any ideas of what Jacob said there. Do not get any ideas, bro. <laughs> yeah, like it says, Ben, do not get any ideas. Do not get Sega any ideas right now if um, this actually does happen. <laughs> oh, man. All right, but let's see here. Let's see, Lucas Man says, now Logan needs a PS5 because it's a Wi-Fi router. <laughs> Yeah, that probably might be true. I might have to get a PS5 to, um... Might have to get a PS5 for a... To, in terms of, like, a Wi-Fi router. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> well, let's see. Ben Game says... Skeleton for Smash. For neutral special, he wields a bow. For every attack, he wields a bow. I mean, I don't, I don't know about that. I mean, it would kind of be like, um... It would kind of be kind of like a mix of, like... Of, like, both Violet and, uh, Link as well. If uh, that actually does happen. I mean, I don't know, Skeleton would be pretty cool to be in Smash. It's... I mean, I doubt it's going to happen, though, Sally. Oh, man. And once again, guys, huge shout out to everyone that's watching the stream. And again, if you are now just coming into the stream, make sure you all definitely give the stream a thumbs up. And once we get to the like goal, once again, two, ten likes on the stream. And that will be very awesome to get to that like goal, like I said before. And, then, and as always, if you are not already subscribed to my channel and want to keep on the day and on more of these awesome live streams, once again, make sure you guys click that subscribe button right now, live. And then we'll appear on the stream over here. And you'll be able to get a live shout out live in the stream here, as always. And since you guys click subscribe right here. And then I want to give a huge shout out to the newest subscriber of this YouTube channel. Being Susan LaFirst. For being the newest subscriber of our YouTube channel here. So again, huge shout out to Susan LaFirst. For, of course, being the newest subscriber of our YouTube channel here. Let's see if anybody can take the place of um, Susan LaFirst is uh, newest subscriber like spot. <clears throat> Let's see. See, Ben Gaming says, I would get the Sega Switch and play every single Sonic game. Oh, without a doubt, right there. <laughs> oh, of course, you're going to be doing that right there, Ben. We already know you're there. We, we already know how you are with that kind of stuff. 
Let's see, Wicked Spade says, Coming soon, Animal Talking New Horizons. <laughs> yeah, I would not be, I would not be surprised if that happened. Animal Talking New Horizons. <laughs> that would probably be like the new um the the sequel to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Who knows about that there? Yo, imagine that actually was a sequel to um Animal Crossing New Horizons. Animal Talking New Horizons. <laughs> That would be really funny there. <clears throat> now let's see. Severo Houston says, I, I just imagined Sam sin in the Sega song. <laughs> that would be kind of funny right there. It would become a meme, honestly. You already know without a doubt that um, the uh, that would just become a meme right there, honestly. <clears throat> oh, man. Now let's see. The Ben Gaming also says, Imagine Patrick from SpongeBob and Smash. Oh my gosh, that was, that was just a couple of another meme there. And Patrick actually did make it in Smash. That would be crazy. And Super Shadow Hedgehog says, True facts, lagging Wi Fi in center network hacks. <laughs> totally true there, honestly. Totally true. And then Ben Gaming says, Brandon's mom, Animal Crossing for Smash. Oh yeah, because of that big fish that Lucas made was showing last night. That's, that's funny right there. That'll be really funny if that actually happens. That big fish that Lucas made had an Animal Crossing last night gets in the Smash. I mean, come on, Sakurai. We definitely need more Animal Crossing raps. What that big old fish that um, Lucas made had in Smash. It's... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't know how the fan reactions will be to that there, but, um, oh, man. <clears throat> All right, let's see. See, Lucas Wayne says, imagine if Ness could only use PK Fire. Oh, no. <laughs> and Ness could only use PK Fire. That would be horrible there. People, I, I mean, I need to say this, but I think people would kind of get salty about it. If uh, Ness could only use PK Fire in some of his moves. Now, Meg Amy says, I want more Sonic characters to Smash, like Amy. Yeah, I mean, Amy could be, a, could be a pretty cool addition to the roster. But I think it turns like any, like, popular Sonic character. I think either it would be, like, Tails, Knuckles, or Shadow. That would be, like, the, um, the characters that would definitely get in there. And just, like, new Sonic raps. Which, if you guys remember from the Grinch League, I'm not sure if you guys remember that before, like, Smash Ultimate came out. Or, like, the month before it came out. You guys remember the Grinch League. You guys don't remember that Shadow was originally in that leak as well, so, um... And I know, like, lots of people are, like, kind of expecting Shadow to be, like, an Echo Fighter for, uh, Sonic. Once again, I was, like, kind of hoping that would happen. Because, once again, I know we need... A little bit cool, we got actually got more Sonic grabs in Smash. Because, I mean, if you think about it... We won all three Smash games that had Sonic in it. And yet, Sonic has been the only character represented in the series. So... Yeah, sadly, um, it looks like, um, I mean, hopefully for the next Smash game, they will probably add, a, they will hopefully add another new Sonic character. Because, I mean, even though I'm not really the biggest fan of Sonic, like, as I used to be, I mean, I still am, but that's not, like, that's not really as big as, um, as how I am with I was Nintendo. But again, it would still be really cool if we got another Sonic rap, and, like, maybe the, uh, the next Smash game. Who knows about that? It's a Super Shadow Hedgehog says, once last night's stream, you'll laugh your head off. <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't know, um, Super Shadow Hedgehog, which once again, if you guys don't know who he is, he's basically Andrew Thomas in our, in our uh, Discord server. He basically was laughing our butts off last night with all the jokes that he did during uh, last night's stream. If you guys are once again not check that out, make sure you guys never go check that stream out. If you guys want to hear um, all of Andrew Thomas' um, hilarious jokes last night. That was um, during like the time they were doing Animal Crossing last night, I believe. Now they was uh, doing all those uh, funny jokes there. <clears throat> it was honestly really funny. Well, let's see. Let's see. Lucas Mead says, I want more Earthbound characters in Smash like Ninten. Yeah, that would be kind of cool if Ninten got in. And if he actually does, then um, I don't see it will be an Echo Fighter to like uh, Ness, obviously. Well, really cool if uh, Nintendo was um and I go find her in the net to um Ness. 
Let's see. Severo Houston asks, I wonder why Amy, Amy and Smash, Ben. I don't know. I mean, you probably couldn't ask Ben that problem. <laughs> oh, wait, he said, well, uh. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys are funny. Let's see, Lucas Man just said, Nintendo and NES are the same. Yeah, that is true. They actually are the same, so one would make a lot of sense that they were actually Echo Finders. I mean, I mean, that would be a guarantee right there, actually. It would be kind of cool if we actually got more um, Echo Fighters to Smash. Well, I mean, unfortunately, because of the Fire Pass, I don't think we're actually going to get any more um, Echo Fighters, actually, sadly. I mean, once again, Sakurai could surprise us, so, um, because uh, Daddy Sakurai is pretty unpredictable these days. So, I mean, who knows? He probably could drop in a bonus Echo Fighter sometime as a surprise. Who knows about that? And then Ben Gaming also says, Imagine more fire, fire Emblem characters. Oh my gosh, no. The salt will be real once again. The salt would just be real. Wait, where's my salt gift at? Yeah, look at this. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Let me, um... I know I do have it up, but I just need to, um... I'm just going to get it up here. Yeah, look at that. This will be, this will be Smash fans and Fire Emblem fans. Then this, then the salt will just be real there, honestly. This would be like a lot of Smash fans right now being absolutely salty. There's a guy on. I mean, I'm not going to say that all day. <laughs> but yeah, that'll be a lot. Like I said, I'll be a lot of Smash fans, honestly. With um, people being salty right now. That's for sure there. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Let's see. Lucas made also says I'm on either Nintendo or Porky. Yeah, that would be kind of cool there. Either Nintendo or Porky. I mean, Porky, like, um, I think I'll probably do the same thing with Porky, just like I did with Ridley as well. Because, like, we all know that Porky was, like, an, um, like, if you guys remember, Porky was originally a boss in Smash Bros. Brawl as, like, a boss in, like, Subspace Cemetery. And, um, I think it was sort of big a bit, but I think they're probably going to do the same thing, what they did with Ridley, to where we all thought that Ridley was, like, because, like, the reason why Ridley didn't get into the previous Smash games, because Sakurai was, like, going, like, um, but during development, he would like have to shrink down like really size to have to make him fit into the into the, uh, the roster. So they might gonna do the same thing what they did with really in Smash Ultimate. Make it like make like decrease his size to make him the same size, just like how um all the other characters, some like um that are like big forms of themselves. Similar, like I said, the biggest example with Ridley, similar to what they did with them, and do the same thing with Porky. But I think I wanted to actually see about that. Well, let's see. See, Ben Gaming says, I want Dante from Devil May Cry. Bro, I know a lot. I know tons of people want to see Dante from Devil May Cry in Smash. So many people want him. I gotta be completely honest right there. It's the like Houston asks, What are these characters? Yeah, I know for some of you guys. I know some of you guys that really don't know these characters, honestly. Like Porky, Ninten. And also Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Oh man. See, Bruno Houston says, Imagine Spider Spider Man in Smash. Oh my gosh, no. Another Marvel character in Smash? That would just be crazy. And let's see, Ben Gaming says, I want Sakurai. We'll make a better story. That's good. That's such my cemetery. Bro, I know! I was so hoping Ward of Light would be like that when they first revealed it. But Sally really isn't like that. Now let's see. Lucas Man says, Daddy, Sak Daddy Sakurai for Smash. Yes! Please make it happen. Put Daddy Sakurai in Smash. Oh, I really want to see him in there. Hey, once again, guys. Keep giving you guys the thoughts about what you guys think about what Phil Spencer had to say. In terms of like, uh, what he had to say about Nintendo first party games. And like uh, just Nintendo in general. Like keep your uh, keep you guys' thoughts coming about it. If you guys have any more. Because like I said, feel free to add, uh, put any thoughts about what we talked about in this stream here. Like I said in the chat right now. And like I said, if you guys are now just tuning in, make sure you all me once again. Make sure to give the stream a thumbs up. And once again, to get to the like or once again, the 10 likes on the stream. And once again, if you are not subscribed to my channel as of yet, 
Ninja guys, quit subscribe right now, and your name will appear live on the stream, and you'll be able to get a live shout out once you uh, quit subscribe and have your name appear on the stream. Uh, let's see. So ben Game says, Sakurai's couch was smashed. Oh my gosh, imagine that. <laughs> get Sakurai's couch from Ikea and smash. It's... <laughs> Yeah, I still do. I still do remember making that joke during um, doing the uh, the Min Min reveal stream that we did. It's a really Houston says. Imagine Fat Albert and Smash. Oh my gosh, man! <laughs> that was something there. Get a bunch of meme characters in Smash. And Ben Gaming says, "Give us Sonic Adventure 3. Yeah, where is Sonic Adventure Three been at? Where, where, like, why, 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 I can't even speak. I mean, I say it every time during these streams. Um, but yeah, I don't know where Sonic Adventure 3 has been at. Well, I don't know when uh, Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2 came out. It was about like a decade, like a couple decades ago, I think it was. And then Ben Gaming says, Shrek for Smash. Oh, jeez, man. And then Lucas Man says, I meant to Logan and Smash. Hey, Sakurai! Sakurai, if you're watching this stream, listen to me right now, Sakurai. Look at me right in the eyes right now. Like, you better, you better listen to Lucas mean. You better boy, you're boy Nintendo Logan and Smash. Because if you don't, then I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. With this. But yeah, definitely, that would be really cool if I got in Smash. I mean, we already do have, we already do have myself in Smash because of um the uh, the me's of me and whatnot that you guys have been making of me. By the meat fighters that you've been making on my on myself and Smash. <clears throat> Let's see. Super Shadow Hedgehog says, "Imagine Brandon and Smash. Not really. Well, he'd be like a guy in Smash. He'd probably be like low, like absolute low tier. I'd like, probably be like F tier, like F tier or something. Let's make it like um, Little Mac tier or something." And then Lucas Payne says. Shrek and Smash will become a meme. Oh, definitely it would, yeah. Oh, that would definitely become a meme. Let's see, Ben Gaming also asks, What about Sailor Moon and Smash? Yeah, I have no idea who Sailor Moon is. I mean, I'm not sure that's a game franchise, or I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure what Sailor Moon is. Alright, look, Lucas Mate says, Imagine if I was in Smash. Well, you already technically are. Thanks to Lu the actual Lucas and Smash. So you are, te you are, are like technically in Smash. I mean, I don't know if you count, I don't know if you count yourself as the actual Lucas, but um, but yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna go and take a couple more comments here, and then we're gonna go and um, well, of course, we're gonna go and uh, wrap up the stream for today. And of course, I know, I know you guys are expecting like another stream tonight. Like, uh, because we usually do our regular Nintendo Switch gaming. Of course, um, technically around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. But like I said during last night's stream, unfortunately, I will not be able, I will not be able to live stream tonight. Because, um, I'm going to be busy uh, doing something tonight, like, uh, tonight, actually. So, unfortunately, we, we will not be able to stream tonight. But again... We will be we will, we will be back to doing our regular gaming streams uh, starting tomorrow. But of course, the next episode of our Xenoblade of our Xenoblade Chronicles Two Let's Play, and also some Super Smash Bros. Ultimate all my matches with you guys as well. So yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and take a couple more comments, and then we're gonna go and um, wrap it up here. And Verla Houston says, "Logan's Musa will just be him dabbing." Oh yeah, dead on him haters of oh, those definitely. <laughs> I don't care what nobody says right there. And then uh, Ben Gaming says, What about Master Chief in Smash? Yeah, I know that lots of people definitely want Master Chief in there as well. Like uh, Master Chief from Halo. And also, he did say, and, uh, like Phil Spencer in his interview also did say, when he was talking about the Nintendo games and whatnot, like Nintendo and whatnot, he did also say, or he did also talk about Halo Infinite as well. Bro, that's so crazy out to this day. Halo Infinite actually received a delay, actually. That's like crazy, honestly. So like, the Xbox Series X is gonna be going in with like it's gonna be launching with like with no um no big first party games. Oh right, but guys, that is gonna do I think that's gonna wrap it, I think that's gonna do it for the stream right here. But again guys, this is give you guys a recap of what we're talking about during the stream. 
basically Phil Spencer, the head of Microsoft and Xbox, he was basically interviewed in this brand new podcast called Animal Talks, was basically themed around Animal Crossing New Horizons, and he did have something to say about Nintendo, not only first party games, but also with um, uh, just Nintendo in general, and again, this article is coming from NintendoLife.com, and this is what Phil Spencer once again had to say about Nintendo, like, um, I don't know what he had to say about Nintendo or whatnot. And once again, he says this, and quote, The pure thing about what Nintendo does is they think about games, and they think about their hardware and their platform all as one thing, and build those experiences. And I know the teens there are pretty well. And I think it's magical, I think it's magical the way they're able to create a complete Nintendo experience on their devices. And this experience I'm looking at right here, in my hands, on my Switch, is Animal Crossing, from the Switch running into the game itself, to the way you could go to other people's islands. And it continues on to say this, in the entertainment business, you know, most things don't turn out to be a huge successes, so there always has to be some amount of surprise. But Nintendo is just masterful at what they do, and I've said it before, I think they have the strongest first party pedigree out there in, out there at strength. And they're a jewel for us in the games industry as something we should protect. And so guys, like I said, that is all what Phil, Phil Spencer had to say in terms of Nintendo with their first party games and also just like their company in general. And like I said guys, let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on what Phil Spencer had to say in terms of like Nintendo with the, uh, the company and also their first party games. And again guys, let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section down below. Because as always, I love to hear you guys' thoughts about this. Alright, and with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's Nintendo News Update. And yeah guys, so as always, if you guys definitely did enjoy the stream, and once again, real quick, huge shout out to Avery Moose. What's well, good there, Avery Moose? Really good to see you there as always. Of course, I had to get a real quick shout out to you before we, um, before we wrap up the stream here. But yeah, guys, so that's going to do it once again for this live Nintendo News Update. And as always, if you guys definitely did enjoy the stream, and not only when it came out the day, and not only more awesome live streams like this, but also came out the day on more weekly Nintendo epicness, next time in the new future on this channel, be sure to smash that like button, and make sure you all Falcon Pots that subscribe button, and do the same thing with that notification bell as well, to not only get alerted on not only more awesome live streams like this, but also keep on the day on more week going Nintendo epicness, and that's some of the new features on this channel. So yeah, that's gonna do for me here from your boy Nintendo Logan. And I'm gonna be signing over the stream. So we will see you guys in our next live stream. Peace out, my Joy Con boys and girls. We out of here. I love you guys. God bless. Have a great rest of your day. I will see you all next time. Peace out, Joy Con gang. What's up, my Joy Con boys and girls? So I'm really hoping you guys enjoyed today's video. But do you guys want to see more Nintendo Loveliness from your boy? You do? You do? Well, I really do want to sell of that. Because why don't you guys go ahead and check out some of our other videos that you guys see right up here? And make sure you guys go like and comment on them also. Because there are some pretty good videos that do promise you guys. And if you guys want to miss any more of our Nintendo news videos and also our weekly live streams that we do on this channel, why don't you guys click this button right up here to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of our Nintendo videos and also our daily Nintendo live streams that we have on this channel for you guys weekly. And also, if you guys want to keep on the day on more of our updates on this channel, why don't you guys go me or follow me on Instagram at NintendoLoganYT for all the latest and greatest updates, especially on the behind the scenes photos of uh, some more stuff away from our YouTube channel, and also about our YouTube channel as well. And lastly, if you guys want to be a part of our awesome Nintendo community, make sure you guys go to join our Discord server right now. The link is in the description of this video for you guys to join our Discord server and get a free invite to join our awesome Nintendo community and get a chance to hang out with us behind the scenes and also get a chance to be on some of our weekly live streams very soon. So yeah, that's going to do it for me here from your boy Nintendo Logan. And I'll be signing off for this video. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out my Joy-Con boys and girls.